and welcome back to our second conversation. If you're joining us right now, it's all about the Belize Coast Guard Family Association. And joining us in studio, we have with us Mrs. Isabel Bennett Moody, who is the Senator and Interim President at the BCGFA. Good morning. Good morning. We also have next to her on her on her right, Mr. Andrew Moody, the swim coordinator. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Mr. Andrew Moody, the swim coordinator, good morning. good morning. And Mr. Elton Bennett, the commandant, good morning. So, the Belize Coast Guard <coughs> Family Association, mm -hmm. why did you think this initiative was necessary? Yeah, so um, the Coast Guard has been in existence for 18 years now, mm -hmm. moving on to 19 years. Um, we've achieved a whole lot um, operational, we have developed the organization as well. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a missing component that mm -hmm. we've realized only. Um, of recent over the past couple of years, uh, we do realize that we weren't doing enough in terms of um, providing welfare services for our enlisted. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't doing enough to engage a very crucial component of the organization, the families. Um, when we look back at our Coast Guard strategy, a lot of it was operational and organizational, right. but w that missing component um, sort of limited us in, in what we would be able to achieve in a broader spectrum of administration and welfare. Um, so earlier on this year, uh, at our senior officers conference, uh, we started the discussion um, to explore that initiative that we refer to as the Belize Coast Guard Families Association. Um, and that comes with, with a lot of um, exciting um, opportunities to broaden this, the scope and horizon of the Belize Coast Guard. Um, so that's where we are um, in our initial stages. Um, and I'll ask um, Senator um, Isabel Bennett Moody to expand a little bit more on the, those programs. Good morning and thank you for having us. Um, Commandant did an, <coughs> sorry, an excellent job in you know, giving us the, the historic background of the mm -hmm. Coast Guard. Um, last year we had an initiative that we did in collaboration with the police department that was swimming. Mm -hmm. And that was the first session that we had. And in observing that, I, said, I shared with him, I said the importance of having to look after our own um, children in terms of the sailors. And so we got our heads together and we decided on the family association. And at this point, strategically, we're moving towards implementation of an administrative body. Mm -hmm. And that will include um, what we refer to as a national executive. And I always say, I always share that um, just as BNTU, just as the Nurses Association, mm -hmm. there's a national executive mm -hmm. and there will be branches in every district as well as the keys in order for us to be able to impact the families of all our sailors from the length and breadth of our country. Mm -hmm. So that is the structure that we're actually moving towards. And in November, the official executive will be presented to the nation. As it is right now, I serve as the interim president. Mm -hmm. yeah. What has been the reception from the sailors and their families in terms of this particular initiative? Well, it has been really good. Um, I'm on the ground. I've been doing consultation with the sailors. I am um, poised to do another session on Wednesday of this week, really. Um, the feedback is that, you know, there's a lot of questions. How is it yeah. going to be? How is it going to be financed? What are we going to do? And mm -hmm. as even as the questions are coming in, they are brilliant ideas coming forward. Mm -hmm. um, they would text in ideas or they would send emails um, stating the type of activities that we can do. We can do um, balls, we can recognize the sailor, we can do educational sessions on how to establish businesses and stuff like that. So the gamut is, is wide. Um, so as we continue to hear from all sailors in the different sectors, we will know more and less how fast and how quickly we can actually be on the ground. What would be the, the benefits that come with being a part of this association? Because not just because you're part of the Coast Guard means you're automatically a part of the um, Actually, we yeah. have established it and okay. we thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. Because remember now, um, every sailor every sailor have the same commonality. So mm -hmm. if you are the wife of a sailor, you will know that he will be out for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, even if you're the husband, your wife will be out for a couple weeks. You're there manding the ship at your home. Yeah. So we have commonalities. So when we think about um, how it will be impacting, we think about educational sessions that we can do with the children. This is what daddy does. This is what mommy do at sea. Um, this is the importance of his work when he's out there protecting our maritime area. 
um, these are the exciting things that he protects when he's out there um, saving lives, mm -hmm. you know, rescuing swimmers. Mm -hmm. So it's a wide, wide aspect of things again. Mm -hmm. just, just to add to that <coughs> as well, <coughs> when it comes to the decision-making aspect of it, of, of the Coast Guard mm -hmm. as an organization, to have that, that feedback loop from the, the families mm -hmm. is, is very key in, in us moving forward. Yeah. Um, the Families Association will be able to influence, to a great degree, mm -hmm. influence the decisions of the, the organization what, what, um, what we do in terms of um, deployment times, um, in, in terms of career development for the, the officers and sailors. Um, so the, the huge advantage here is to get within the formal decision-making loop of the organization so they can make, um, influence um, the, those decision-making. Yeah. Um, so it's a new initiative, um, and the sailors are very excited about it. Um, I think there, there's, a, there's a lot to be gained um, by having this, this association um, inside the the organization. Let's get <coughs> Andrew in on the conversation here. Uh, talk to us about your role, Andrew, in the association and uh, as a sailor yourself. Okay, so um, I am the swim coordinator for the program that was birthed through the help of the family association. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I put together a package to give this very vital life skill mm -hmm. to young people. And so we first started out helping the police, giving their, their children mm -hmm. this, this skill. And then now, through the Family Association, we were able to give this program to family members of the Belize Coast Guard. So you're a, you're a Coast Guard, your child, your nephew, mm -hmm. your niece can come to this program. We had the program for two weeks, yeah. whereby uh, me and my team, we taught them how to swim from scratch all the way up to being able to swim like a pro. Right? And um, that is my role here. And that is the first program that came out of the Family Association. Are we looking forward to other initiatives under the Family Association, uh, perhaps to expand beyond uh, swimming classes? Yes. Um, as it is, the ideas are coming, like I said, from the sailors. Um, some of the ideas has to do more with a bit of integration of family members into mm -hmm. activities that actually happen at the Coast Guard base. Mm -hmm. um, it happens, but not to a large um, extent. So what we're finding out is that the ideas are coming in, say, for example, the sailors would say about retreats. Um, and we have to be able to balance the needs because the sailor, some of the sailors are saying, we want to have retreats with our families, but they want to have it inland because their workplace is always on the sea, mm -hmm. whilst the family is already starting to say, we want to go to the Keys because that's where you work and we want to vacation there. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's a creating a balance within the association. Um, that's just one. Um, definitely has, there's a need for educational exposure to um, financial literacy. Um, that has been one of the ideas coming forward from the um, sailors. In addition, um, they are asking for um, more social activities mm -hmm. in the sense of having to do balls, mm -hmm. like what used to happen back in the days. Of course, that's coming from the seniors, mm -hmm. um, but there is still a portion of the sailors that have not been consulted, so the ideas will just keep coming in, yeah. most definitely. Are you all um, collaborating or looking for sponsorship and support from entities outside? And I ask because, for example, you said it yourself, you sailors go out to sea for two, three weeks um, with maybe little to no communication with the families. So maybe partner up with Digi to see how, or Smart to see how they can get better reception out there or something, I don't know. Well, I think the Coast Guard <laughs> has done an excellent job in having internet in most of the areas where our sailors are. So that's a good thing for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but most definitely corporate Belize would be involved. Um, we're already expanding and thinking of how we can connect Mm -hmm. um, or network with other family associations within the region mm -hmm. as well as internationally. And so when those exchanges happen, we know for sure that they can not just only be financial, but they can also be technical um, support that will be coming in. Is this a first of its kind yeah. initiative in the armed forces or? Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Not, not really. Um, the Belize Defense Force has mm -hmm. its own uh, families association. Yeah. Okay. We've also been exposed and we've dialogued with some of those professional militaries mm -hmm. uh, that we're very familiar with in the United States, the United Kingdom, and mm -hmm. even in Mexico as well, um, to see how their families association work. Yeah. Um, so we've, we're looking at different models and then we'll, we'll be configuring that to suit, to suit our needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but just to go back on, on those different initiatives, can you sure. imagine the Coast Guard is now 18 years old and we have never had 
a a family's um, family day, a family day, or okay. a family sports day, yeah. or a family activity. Yeah. And we've never done that. So these yeah. are just some of the, the very exciting initiatives that we're looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. as you all are continuing to grow, you said that you're having your your actual first election in November, October. Um, the launch, launch of the of mm -hmm. the association, yes, with our full mm -hmm. executive on board. Um, elections will come at a later time because this yeah. is an interim executive we're putting in the structure that is our main responsibility mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thereafter with all our bylaws etc in place mm -hmm. then we'll have official elections so my task right now is with the help of commandant and the sailors is to put that structure in place how does this assist the coast guard in the longer run definitely more involvement because i always say you have a sailor but behind that sailor is the sailors because we as a family support each of them mm -hmm. and so when they're out there doing their best going beyond and their their call of duty a lot of times we are the ones supporting them so when the sailor understands that you know he or she is being supported or the family is being supported that will just continue to replicate and we'll have better service men and women in our country mm -hmm. in, in, yeah it is uh, in terms of um, what you would like to see in the future what I would forward, like to see. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm seeing an officially established association that um, will stand side by side, embracing the vision and the mission of the Belize Coast Guard, mm -hmm. um, where families will be totally involved, as Commandant said, in part of the decision making in helping the sailors to grow professionally as well as personally. And I'm also thinking about the fact that, you know what, we have our sailors, and yes, at 55, they retire. But there is something about having to provide technical skills for, their, for them to be able to survive and be of better, um, what do you say, life standards, even after retirement. So it's not just about, you know, we have a little dance and we, uh, we showcase what's happening at the Coast Guard or we attend these formal, really nice events, but it's about developing that sailor, but also developing their family members as well. I think it's a great initiative. I would like to see things like scholarship initiatives for Definitely. kids that are yep. um, grants. grants, right? Yep. But it, I gives a, it gives a softer yeah. appearance of the Coast Guard, <laughs> to be quite honest yeah. with you, because it's, it's dawning on me, as you've mentioned, Commandant, that you haven't heard of a family day for Coast Guard and I since never thought of that. Since its inception, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, indeed, and, and that's how we're, we're perceived as a strict operational yeah. mm -hmm. um, military service. Mm -hmm. uh, but understand that, that um, to have that effective military service, there are sailors who need to have that support system uh, yeah. and that family that is so crucial in their effectiveness at sea must be a part of the organization. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. while, whilst we've developed to that, to that point where we have this this image and this perception of being a, a hard, solid uh, military force. Mm -hmm. um, it's very important for us to understand the needs of the, th those softer um, skills and, and those uh, softer initiatives that will propel us to, uh, to, to greater things. Mm -hmm. It also comes with um, talking, and the initiative of talking to the family as well, the, the kids and the, the spouse or the partner, because we don't know what happens when you all deploy out yes. at sea. We don't know the, the rigorous effects of being out there. And I can't even understand how you're out there and just looking at nothing for three weeks. It, it's daunting, right? But we're I not, don't not understand. You're not, not looking at that. I <laughs> don't understand that, right? Assignment. We have stuff but that I've, we get, no. But for me, as somebody that, that doesn't yeah. understand, mm -hmm. it's important mm -hmm. that you discuss those things with, and, and the, it's, the, it's with the wider public. It's really right? nice that you made mention of that, too, because then that is what part of the association's responsibility is, to mm -hmm. expose the family to the delicateness and the nature of the work to yeah. a certain extent because right. there are certain things as spouses we should not know mm -hmm. because yeah. it's military, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if, if, if every time daddy unplugs or every time mommy unplugs, I'm going off to work and the child says, okay, mommy's gone to work, daddy's gone to work. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I don't, I don't know what he does. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she does. So we'll be exposing them to that. And then one of the challenges is that the kids will start saying, well, 
oh, that's what daddy do. He goes to the keys and he learns to relax. No, it's not just that. <laughs> you know, it's he that goes out there the and he's, yes. Yeah. You know, so there's a balance that we will definitely um, attempt to, to create. Right. Yeah. It's a wonderful initiative. Well, thank and, you. Um, as you all are continuing to do the research and you're going to discuss with various other persons that are mm -hmm. part of the Coast Guard and the families as well, um, how long is that going to, to take out? How long have you been doing well, that? Well, it started in officially May. in May mm -hmm. um, when the interim structure was in place and we will officially be putting in the executive by November mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's when the Belize Coast Guard will be celebrating their 19th anniversary. So we're timing everything okay. quite, quite neatly. Um, and um, the impact, as we continue to put that, we are getting the feedback from the sailors as well. Wonderful. Touching base with international organization for guidance as well. Okay. Well, guys, I'm very, very uh, proud of this initiative. I'm curious to see when you all launch this, how it's going to all come out into, well, into thank play. You. And I truly respect the work that the Coast Guard has done in protecting our, our maritime Borders. So thank you all so much for coming. Any last words for our viewers this morning? No, thank you for having us. Um, def definitely um, a good opportunity for us to, to showcase the Coast Guard from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to, to look at Coast Guard as not only the individual in, in that uniform, um, but to l when you see a Coast Guard person, a Senate, he's a, um, he's a family man or a family woman as yeah. well. And, and that yeah. um, your perception of him or her must be deeper than and, and broader than just the, 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 the sailor with his or her rifle. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's, there's a good family element to it. Wonderful. Thank you all so much. Thank you. We're <coughs> going to take the break and we'll be right back with the Back to School Expo and the discussion on non-communicable diseases. Stay with us.